channel it is 2023 happy new year to all of you so I have switched my schedule I'm now home every weekend I guess you can call it regional but I still travel the Midwest and the South sometimes depending on how far I can get but to my benefit with this schedule I can now meal prep so this is my second week meal prepping um, and I just went to psh, the store and got some groceries. So last week, or my first week of meal prepping, I did veggie spaghetti all week for lunch. And I did salmon, mashed potatoes, and carrots. <clears throat> so this week, I am going to do a veggie stir fry for lunch. And then for dinner, I'm going to do chicken, roasted potatoes, and broccoli. So we are going to meal prep <laughs> this Sunday and prepare for the week because I leave out in the morning. Um... I think it's going to go well. So the plan for the week is to leave out Monday and Tuesday's meals in the refrigerator part, portion of the um, the refrigerator in the truck. And then Wednesday through Friday, put the rice in the freezer and trickle them out accordingly so I can warm them up and eat. Um, but it keeps me on a really, really good schedule and it saves me money. Maybe because the money and the budget <clears throat> is the main goal for the year. So I went through a little haul. Oh, not to mention fruit. My fruit for last week were oranges, and I still have some, and I added grapes for this week. I'm trying to get my fruits back in the game, you know what I mean? So that's what I added for that, and I usually just drink water all week and tea. Um, I have the flavor enhancers that you can put in there, but I didn't buy any. I have some in the truck. I may or may not use them, but I've been okay just drinking water, and I get like a whole big case, and I use that, so that works for me. But I'm about to start meal prepping because I just got in the house from the store. And we're going to get into this meal prep today. So I already seasoned it. I'm gonna put a little foil on here and put it in the oven. And then we're gonna move on to cutting up these veggies right here. But yeah, let's cover this up and put this in the oven. And here we are with the onion. Cut this up and some more peppers. Um, and then that's it. But you know what? Being back on the road in the new year with a change schedule, it feels so good. Like, it really feels really good. And I think because I've been on the road for, like, all together four years. But the last two have been OTR. And, like, it's a difference from when I was coming home and I was staying for, like, seven to ten days at one time versus now. <clears throat> I'm home every weekend. It feels like more comfortable. It feels like a routine. More reliable, it's stable. Um, and you could really like create a life for yourself. And I didn't know how much I needed. Well, I knew I needed it, but I didn't know how good it felt until I started it. So even with this meal prep, doing it on Sundays, I'm like, all right, this is good. This is really, really good. Um, so I plan to keep it like this. And however I transition in trucking, out of trucking, um, it's definitely a good middle step to do it how I'm doing it. Now, mind me how I'm cutting this dag one onion. Um, <clears throat> it's going to turn out how it's going to turn out. It's going to turn out. But we're going to cut this up. But I really am grateful. So this is my opinion. And this may or may not be what somebody else thinks. And it's different for everybody else. But I feel like when you first get in trucking, you should be using your first couple of years to get your experience, see some places or whatever the case is. But I feel like the goal as you go further along should definitely be to create um, a lifestyle or income or something where you don't have to be gone for weeks at a time. You know what I mean? So you don't lose your sense of self 
or you don't get too comfortable in being by yourself or antisocial that you don't know how to be around people. And I mean in the capacity to show um, happiness and share joy. You know what I mean? It's one thing to be like, yeah, I'll be around people. I'm on the road or whatever. You're not inviting them in your personal space to <clears throat> add to your happiness. That's the difference. So I think everyone, just me, I think they should transition into a type of lifestyle where they can find some joy, not be out there all the time, being taxing on their body and everything like that. But I know I've talked to several people and people who have older kids and everything. They're like, I mean, my kids are older and grown. I like it. Me and the wife or just me. I'm out here and I really enjoy being gone or whatever. If that's your mindset, cool. <clears throat> If you've been a person that's been around people your first half and you truly are done, that's cool too. But your quality of life still matters. <clears throat> Trucking will take down your quality of life. Trucking will take down your health. Trucking will take down some of your joy. So I, I suggest that people move from OTR to local and regional. And then they start creating a life where they can smile. They've got the experience. Most likely have used the money. So go ahead and create a second stream or third stream of income or a trucking lifestyle that permits you to go home more often and see family and friends. <clears throat> because nothing is guaranteed. No day is guaranteed. Ain't nobody's lifespan guaranteed. You want to make sure you spend it with people while you can. Yeah, you make the sacrifices early, but like, that ain't supposed to happen or last forever. No, it's not supposed to. So just my little tidbit. I'm changing it for myself, and I feel like it's worthwhile. I done did my, my fair share of OTR, being these places, being out. Um, you know, missed a little holiday or two. I can't say I've ever missed my daughter's birthday. I do prioritize, and I've had companies that were flexible and lenient, and I was like, I'm not missing that. Um, but <clears throat> other stuff, yeah, here and there I've missed. But that's just my opinion. That's my opinion. I really do think that people should transition that way. But, you know, I'm just one trucker. Giving my opinion, honey. So, mm -hmm. but other than that, it has been fun being OTR and being out and everything. I have enjoyed it thoroughly, honestly. I have, but it's just coming to a different point. I'm gonna see if that's enough onions. I'm gonna cut up some peppers. Um, we'll see afterwards. And to add color, we're going to do the orange one. Because so far we have um, the mushrooms, a little purple, and you know, white cream, whatever it is, <clears throat> whatever it is. So we're going to add a little orange to the mixture, baby. So, I don't know. That's that. But trucking is still good for what it is. I know it's a hard time right now for everybody, to be honest with you. Getting these loads and making sure they're paying enough, even for a company driver. Sometimes you sit in or... You know, they, they got you going to a certain um, certain places and stuff because they want to make sure the money makes sense when they take these loads. So, I get it. It's not the same. People are still making profit, but at the same time, it's running people out of business, too. There's companies going under, companies selling, co-partnering, all of that, selling trucks. Right now, a friend of mine was telling me trucks are um, way more affordable. They're almost back to where they was a few years ago. <clears throat> but if you can't float and make it out of this situation or keep your head above water, it makes sense to sell your stuff. It really do. Now, for others who are trying to get in, it's a perfect time to buy. I'm not saying it's a perfect time to run, but to get the equipment and work on it or wait for the right time to run, I think it's a good time to start buying the equipment if you have it. So, and we'll see. And everybody has their argument about how long trucking is going to last with autonomous trucks and everything like that. I think we still have a little bit of time, but knowing that this is the time to use to make something happen within these first two or three years because if it is starting to transition somewhere, get your money while it's still here and do something good with it. That's going to help you in the long run. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. But, ooh, let me check a few of these things real quick. Decided to add a little yellow. <clears throat> when it comes to these potatoes, so when a chicken comes out, we are going to roast these bad boys. Roast. <laughs> Got a little rice coming along, but cut these off. They almost done.
It don't seem like I cut up enough vegetables, but you know, it'll be all right. And then I'll add my sauce daily because I don't want this thing to be soggy while it's sitting. So this will be enough and be all right. This is lunch, little lunch. Time for dinner. And here is the last piece of the puzzle. So I'm gonna put some oil in there because I use avocado oil. I sure do. Some garlic. Cause we ain't gonna do too much. We not gonna do too much. You know, parsley for some garlic. You can know, make it look a little cute. We like cute. <laughs> we like presentation if we can. I ain't no chef, baby, but I can make a little, little, little like shaman. All right, we might have to mix this up a little bit because the pan ain't super long. We gonna get in there. Get up. <laughs> Right. It's a good amount. Looking like rosemary, but it's not. I might sprinkle a little pot, um, pepper, but we better put that in the oven and it's going to toast. And here we are. Might take some barbecue sauce to go with this meat. But yeah, as this is dinner. Next to our stacks of uh, lunch, and we we out of there. We out of there. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yes. So in hindsight, it worked out really, really well. Um, on like maybe one or two of the days, I only got to one or two meals because my schedule was changing, and I was driving overnight, and I just was feeling maybe only one or two meals, and I had a little snack or something on the side. But I did not spend on big meals. No Subway, no Hardee's, no Wendy's, no none of that. Because I was just like, let me just stick to the schedule. Let me stick to the plan. I already meal prepped. Let me just, you know, stay with that. So it was good. Um, as far as like making the time, you really have to set aside time in your routine to make sure that you have the Sunday or whatever day it is, even if you're on the road, to just cook all of your stuff uninterrupted without a load coming in or anything. So highly recommend and I would do it again. One little change I would make is the sauce I picked. You know what I mean? I was tight on time and I was at the grocery store and I just picked that one. But I would have chose something different for a different, you know, taste or flavor. But it was cool and it still worked out. Now, outside of these videos, we're going to switch it up and just talk about some different topics, whether it's current events or whatever, because I like to talk. I'm a conversationalist. And I don't know why I haven't been doing that because I'm more than just trucking. You know what I mean? But we are going to focus on that wall. I'm going to focus on that. But until next time, this was just meal prep. I will catch y'all on the flip side.